All right, today's mess is, um, well, me experimenting with the um, little circuit that I call the strange and versatile oscillator, but I've added an extra transistor which makes it uh, Darlington pair. In so, in fact, you can actually use a pre-made Darlington pa Darlington pair transistor, and it would do the exact same thing, but. I don't have that lying in my wonderful junk that I need to clean so I just made it up myself so I have a uh, if I can get in the focus here a 2N2222A transistor their general purpose uh, PNP and one of these that uh, I never were able to find the data sheet for these but I know they are power transistor and they are NPN because that my little uh, transistor tester were able was able to test me to test it for me and they were great now right now it's hooked up to a little flyback in uh, just a demonstration to show that you can actually drive some uh, high frequency and high power things with it and it actually is a very versatile well whatever the frequency you want you can change the capacitor and resistors and all that stuff and here you go that's the schematic and the values are exactly correct so this here can be of any value basically it's just a divider network that sets uh, a bias for the PNP transistor and then once the capacitor reach that bias plus 600 millivolts give or take it actually switch on the PNP and then while the the current flows through it it actually uh, switch it very very hard so it discharge a whole capacitor in the other transistor or MOSFET because you can actually use it with MOSFET but uh, you need like a pull down resistor and I still need to play with uh, with it to having with to work with a MOSFET because uh, my last MOSFET just went up in smoke while using this circuit so for now I'll stick with transistor they're well they're good they work and uh, here you can actually have anything it's just I happen to have two of uh, 820 kilo ohm in hand so uh, it makes the current flow in here very 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 little so you can actually have all the power for the rest of your circuit and I'm not gonna claim any efficiency or anything I'm simply experimenting and enjoying that uh, nice circuit that I got on the internet and uh, well here's the little uh, circuit at work I have my trusty power supply at 8 volt 2 amps and right now without no load with no sparks or anything I'm driving it at about well let's round it up to 700 milliamps and uh, let's make some spark it's actually a very nice purple spark there and this is actually unrectified uh, AC right there because uh, this uh, this flyback is actually from an old uh, plasma lamp and uh, let me see if I can get a neon here there we go so uh, yeah it works actually very very good and then transistor <clears throat> sorry about that the transistor doesn't get uh, very very warm because right now with the spark I'm actually going to about uh, 1 amp well 1.7 amp roughly depending on the size of the spark and there we go sparks is done go back and yeah of course the transistor becomes warm but it not uh, extremely like it's not gonna blow on me if I let it run for an hour and if you hear a squeal it's actually my uh, my power supply that's squealing I have to fix that I'm probably gonna have to uh, hook up a better filtering cap at the end so it doesn't work as hard when it's switching these it only does that when I play with this circuit but uh, anyway this is uh, 
well, just another variant. And uh, I'm gonna play some more with the high power transistor and see what I what else can I can I can come with. And um, well, have fun. See you later.